Okay, welcome to Tiled. So let's go ahead and click and open. Here's Tiled as you open it. And you can go to File. You have several different windows here, and I'll explain those in just a moment. These are your three main areas, but for right now, let's click New. And a small little window appears right there. Okay. Now you have your orientation, your tile layer format, and your tile render order. You can do orthogonal, you have several choices, isometric, whatever. Okay, you have your map size, which is basically how many wide by how many high. For this, we're gonna use 10 by 10. Tile size is more important. I usually use 140 by 140, because that's what I design in. Okay, let's click OK. Now you can see your project window here, this large one. This is where you will work on your map. This is your layer window, and this is your tile sets window. Tiled works naturally in tile sets, and it makes it so much easier to work. So let's go to map, new tile set, new window pops up, and browse. So I'm going to bring in a, let's bring in a tile sheet, and I'm going to click OK. Now, as you can see, tiled naturally on a tile sheet will automatically split it and divide it for you. So if you've set up a tile sheet on that type of grid, that size grid, whatever grid you've set up, it's going to slice it for you automatically. <clears throat> It'll also show you any uh, errors you might make. So let's make a new tile set. Let's bring in a second one, I mean. And for this one, let's bring in something a little bit different, the concrete. Here's concrete, and you can see at the same zoom level, it's right there. Now Tile can also bring in, let's say you want to just bring in an individual piece, as long as it's on that same grid size or aspect ratio, you can bring in an individual tile. Pain in the ass, but it's up to you. I like using tile sheets because it makes my workflow go much faster. Now, on my first tile layer, you can add more tile layers if you'd like, just by going to the top the layer, and you can see you can add tile, object, or image layers. Or you can also do it in this window, which we'll explain later. Now, in our first layer that we're on, we've got several tools. The stamp brush, you've also got a bucket fill, and you got an eraser, which I think these are all self-explanatory, but let's go through. The stamp tool now with a stamp, as I'm doing, I can left click and continually click, or I can take the bucket and flood tool and just flood everything on that first layer. And if I zoom out, you can see our entire first layer has been filled with the, the tile that I chose.